good day to all you glorious Rascalian Resonators. Name's Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Weathering Waves. Hopefully, wherever you're at, you're having a terrific, fantastic, amazing day. In today's video conversation topic, we're going to discuss something that, you know, we've said a couple of times, but we're going to actually break it down a little bit, and we're going to talk about the combat system of Weathering Waves. Just in general, a couple of thought processes behind it, basically some pros, some cons, and some ideal improvements that could happen for the combat system. So if you're interested in this, take a seat at the bar, just like always, grab yourself some cold to drink, relax, and let's get into it. So, discussing the combat system of Weathering Waves. I'm going to put out as a disclaimer. I'm going to say it like this. Compared to a lot of other gacha games out there, Weathering Waves' combat system is a very decent system. It, it is a very, very, you know, hard, big chunk of what makes Weathering Waves what it is. Compared to something like Genshin Impact. But that's not stating that, you know, that Weathering Waves' combat system is by far truly unique or perfect by any manner and the reason why i say that is because in all honesty like i do love the combat system don't get me wrong i love the combat system i, I find that you know it gives me it gives the player exactly what they want for a flashy good time but that is kind of where we're getting to the problem and it's not problem but the idea issue of the combat system as well that's as much as a pro it is to me somewhat of a con because as much as the combat system is great it is flashy like look at chang lee doing her stuff right now on the screen like it is great don't get me wrong but it's also very hacky slashy right like this is like your generic beat em up game your generic arena fighter game nowadays compared to what it used to be what games used to be you know this is a lot more flashier it's a lot more simplified it is casually based there is some in-depth mechanics but not many i'm going to testify to that one right now i don't care what someone out there on the internet tells you i don't care what some forum warrior some reddit person says the combat system is not so goddamn vastly complicated that you know all these animation cancels you need to learn blah 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 all this sort of stuff nah man like you could this is a casual base game the game is made for casual players and that's not a bad thing because that's the target audience you know curl game is really trying to get involved in i don't see curl games trying to really push you know the difficulty level of this game and push a harder system on people when it wants to target people that you know just want to sit there and play a game and turn their brain off because look at the new generation as it is new generation is all about brain rot okay i'll be the first one to testify to that you got your skibbity toilet people out there that just want, you know, a hack and slashy. I want to feel good about what the hell I'm fucking doing and just play a goddamn fucking game. That, that's it. They, they don't care about legitimately parrying. They don't care about the mechanics behind all this. You may care about it as the person who's watching this video, but the 95% of people really don't. Okay? I, I'm going to tell you like this. You're one of the few far far in between people that's going to really care about the optimization of your combos which i'm going to say in this game there is really no combos as you would think there would be this game you know it will say oh this is combo a combo b it is press the button stop the whole like a combo in this game is one two stop one two three four jump uh uh like th this is combos and, and it's just pressing a button okay and i don't consider that combos i consider that hack and slashy you know beat em up game style and that's like i said there's nothing wrong with that the idea you know like people say oh you need to learn how to parry in this game in all honesty i don't even call the parry system in this game a parry 
That's I call that a clash, okay? Because nine out of ten times, I'll be honest with you, you could parry without even knowing about it. You're just hitting the button, and you know, the idea of parrying is you hit at the same time as the enemy hits you. And I, like I said, I don't call that a parry. I call that a clash. A parry to me is a system that would be a dedicated button or a dedicated command, if you would, that, you know, you see the character go into an animation preparing for, you know, parrying. And then, you know, there would be with punishing if they didn't parry the correct timing and stuff like this. In this game, it's all about attacking. And then you can play a character like GN, for example, go into your alt, and because you got an extended hitbox that is god of fucking amazing, you could just hold down the attack button that entire time, and every time that the, the, the enemy is gonna have that gold circle around them, indicating that that's parryable, he's gonna parry it. Nine out of 10 times, he's going to fucking parry that attack. Like, there's really, to me, that right there, the parry system here could use a lot of improvement. And I know I'm going to get some people out there like, oh, no, the parry system is fine in this game. Yeah. I personally am a person that's a firm believer that a parry should have an animation to it. That take, for example, Metal Gear Rising is a good game that has a parry mechanic to it. It uses the attack button, but you have to press forward on the control stick at the same time as you do the attack in order to what? In order to go into a parry animation. And if you fuck up your parry, you get punished for it. That is a parry mechanic in my personal opinion. Not, not what we have in this game. I, I'm just gonna say, that's why I, like, I don't like calling it a parry. I like calling it straight up a clash it is a clashing attack, meaning that two attacks clash together and that's it. To me, I feel like, you know, that like the circle button on here, should, if it's not going to be used, like if you're not going to remap it or anything, you have to remap your control scheme or whatever, that button in particular should be used straight up for, uh, for the parry mechanic. Like... I should be able to press circle on a control stick, which is used to grab things. And, you know, Chang Li holds her sword in front of her, for example, and goes, ha! And then whatever hits it gets parried, whether it's a parable attack or not. Like, I would take out the entire parable attack thing, the gold circle, and I would take that completely out, and I would make it to where you can parry any attack. Like a Souls game! Because, oh my gosh, we all know how great soul games are. I mean, even soul games, you have, you know, a parry animation to your shield or to your, basically to your right bumper. You hit this button right here. It does an animation. You flunk it. You guess what? You got to go ahead and do it all over again. It's, that's why, like I said, like a, a lot of people, I will disagree with them that the parry system in this game is great. I don't think it's a great system. I think it was designed for the casual mindset for someone to do less button presses. That's what I think it's all about. It's for the sake of, you know, yeah, for the sake of mobile players, you know, who don't want to think. They just want to hit a button and then it's like when they get that parry off, like, oh yeah, you saw that? I got that parry. Wasn't it cool? Yeah, it's for those people. It's not for you, me, in general. You know, it's not a system that's really designed in my personal theory, in my personal mindset for it. And I might as well just kill this guy because yeah, I was coming. I need his course. Let's do it. And right now, I've been playing so much goddamn fucking Black Loop Wukong. Yeah, my ass right now is using circle button to dodge when it's actually marked on L1 right now. Oh boy. Hey, maybe this is actually a good time to go ahead and remap my control scheme. You see, like that, like, like I said, that right there is not a parry to me. And I wasn't even trying to parry. You see? Like, that was me mashing a button. That is what it is designed for. It is designed for people to basically make that mistake. I think that personally an improvement to this game would be to one big improvement would be to change the parry system to have an option 
leave it like a normal default skin like they can do it like hey look normal parry like normal with an attack or have a dedicated parry button to where that way that way both people you the people who are casual that like it like it is it can stay like it is but people like myself can actually have it set to where it's a secondary attack that actually is dedicated only to a parry mechanic and I think that that would honestly be really, really cool. And I think that, you know, for someone like myself, I would change to that in a heartbeat. Because I have a useless button right here. You know, I got this button, I got this button, and I got a jump button. I could have, we could totally have the circle button right there for dodge or for an actual true indicated parry system that i would say that would be really good to use for every attack no matter whether it is a gold bar or not when the enemy if you parry off that attack you parry it that would be a true improvement that i would love to see them incorporate like future wise into this game it would it happen most likely not i will be the first one to say hey i don't think that would happen but if it did, I would be so freaking happy about it. Like, I would be completely gun-ho. I would be so excited. I would be making a video about it. I'd be like, yo, this is the most amazing news I've ever heard of. I would love to see, in some case scenario, I know it's not going to happen either, but I would love to see... If it's possible, a little bit more variation in combos, like, you know, a little bit more technical aspect of things, you know, just in general. But like I said, in this game, it's not really made for that. And you, I got to take into consideration mobile, you know, the mobile players when they play this game with their tr that, you know, they don't have a controller. So they got to play with the buttons on the screen and doing things like that, you know, actually having, you know, where you have to do like a, a light and then, you know, like a heavy attack in order to do combinations and different things like that. I, I think it'd be a little bit too complex for a mobile device for that to happen. But I'm just saying that would be really cool. I'm just going to say my biggest improvement idea on this would be to, yeah, add an entire, you know, new Harry mechanic that you know we could adapt it like i said to where in the settings you can adapt new parry system or leave it as it currently is something simple easy something cool but in general compared to other games and i'm going to put it like this the even gitchen impact you know the only game that i'm going to say that i think had a somewhat of a unique combat system but even then it was still flashing would have been soul level a rise if we're talking in terms of gotcha because jen Wu, when you change weapons you were able to change his entire play scheme you were able to go pick i want this skill this skill this skill this skill this skill pop it on him and leveled up those skills and you could have had a whole unique jen Wu that did a whole unique combination of different attacks which made that com that combat system more unique in weathering ways is just a simple easy flashy devil may cry ish hack and slash genshin impact well actually still better than genshin impact combat system i hate to say it that way but it's true it's not like it's a bad thing but it does leave more in my personal opinion for desire but you tell me your thoughts down below in the videos in the comments section below subscribe to the channel if you you know if you like weathering ways and you want more daily weathering ways content share the video and either like or dislike all that stuff like especially leaving comments down below really does help with the algorithm and getting these videos out there by the conversations that we've been having in these videos in the past couple of weeks and everything else um trust me those videos have been getting seen more and more than i've ever seen so if you guys want to help out by liking sharing and commenting on the videos that would be great even disliking does help in the algorithm as well so all right guys you have it good you take it easy stay classy stay jazzy and i'll catch you on the flip side peace